Once Upon a Time, stories from Leicester Library's Neighbourhood Services. I've got a story to tell you today, and it's one that I first heard from, well, he's a man that some people say is the greatest living storyteller. He's a man with 300 stories in his head. That's like a man with a library in his head. His name's Taffy Thomas, and he really is very good. So I'm going to try hard to do justice to his story today. It's called Jack Turnip. It was the iron winter and the snow was so deep that if you walked out at night you had to duck your head to walk underneath the moon. And Jack Turnip was out for a walk on the lane with his sturdy axe over one shoulder. And he walked and he stepped onto a frozen puddle and his feet slipped out from under him and whack onto his backside he went. He scrambled to his feet and he looked down at that puddle and he glared and he shook his fist and he said, oh, so you think that you are stronger than me? Or so it would seem. And then he began to think. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought some more. Just a minute. In the morning, the sun will come out and it'll shine down on that puddle and melt it into water. So maybe it is the sun that is the strongest, after all. Or so it would seem. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought some more, just a minute. But the clouds sometimes pass in front of the sun and block out the sunlight from the earth. So perhaps it is the clouds that are the strongest, after all. Or so it would seem. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought some more, just a minute. When the wind gets up, it blows those clouds away. So perhaps it is the wind that is the strongest, after all. Or so it would seem. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought. But just a minute. No matter how much the wind blows, the mountain stands unmoved. So perhaps it is the mountain that is strongest after all, or so it would seem. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought, but just a minute, this tree here growing on the mountain, but the mountain can't grow on the tree. So perhaps it's the tree that is the strongest after all, or so it would seem. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought. But just a minute, and he took down his sturdy axe from over his shoulder, and he stepped towards that tree, and in three mighty chops, chop, 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 that tree fell. And he stood over the tree, and he looked down. So perhaps it is I, who is the strongest after all, or so it would seem. And he threw his axe to the ground and he jumped into the air in victory. And as he landed, his feet landed straight back on that slippery puddle and whoosh, onto his backside he went. Or so it would seem. And that's the story of Jack Turnip. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go out and tell as many people as you can. Thanks for having me. Bye.